Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Pits of Metal Chaos. This is your host, Dave. I have on the line with me special guest, Ali Lex, vocalist from End of Melancholy. How are you? How are you doing? Hey, um, it's Ali, and um, I, I'm doing fine. That's good. So. So with uh you know with what's going on in the world and you guys you your band cannot cannot play any shows what what have you been doing Well I can't say about the whole world <laughs> but uh here is uh, uh still quarantine you know in Russia but uh the summer is going and uh today I saw that you know everybody are on the streets and uh, taking sun baths, but the end of melancholy is uh, writing <laughs> uh, a new album. So it's the best time for us, you know, actually. <laughs> now that's good. So, well, yeah. so when, when was the last time uh, at the end of melancholy, what well, was the last show you played? Last show was um, in October, and uh, we played uh, with Motionless and White in St. Petersburg, in our hometown. <laughs> now, in, in St. Petersburg, do you guys have a lot of fans? Um, thanks for Motionless and White, yeah. <laughs> But honestly, uh, the most fans we got in the States and Europe. Hmm. I don't know, the phenomenon. <laughs> so now, what, what, year, what year was the band formed? Uh, repeat, please. What year, what year was the band and the melancholy put together? It was uh, 2014, I guess. Um, I met Andrew, the guitarist and songwriter of the band, and uh, we tried to to create a song, to write something, and uh, um, we uh, successfully wrote the song. Uh, it, it's kind of our first song, and it's called Dolphins, and uh, it's our first music video also, so you can check it everywhere. And uh, when Dolphins was ready, we thought that we can go on and uh, uh, try to, to write something. So we write... Uh, we we wrote uh, several songs and uh, include them on our EP. Um, and uh, we released the EP playing with Shadows. And then when we got a feedback, especially from the States and Europe, we thought that we need a band. And uh, we just uh, searched the bassist, the drummer, and go on tour. So then we uh, decided to write a debut album, Paradox Intention, and yeah, here we are. <laughs> now, we, the, how, how did the name of the band come, how did you guys come up with the name of the band? Oh, mm, I got two stories, actually. <laughs> Funny and... Uh, I don't know, just serious. <laughs> Which one do you want to hear? Uh, you could tell both if you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the thing is that I just saw um, the title, the title, The End of Melancholy. And uh, I don't know, it was like a sign because I got many interactions with melancholy in my life. Um, you know, all these things with sadness <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, gothic attitude. <laughs> so, 
And that time I just, uh, I realized that I don't like it anymore. And uh, this this name would be great for, even for my band. So, something like that. And what, what, what is the other story? Uh, I mixed it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Now the the paradox intention EP, where where did you guys record that at? Actually, paradox intention it's the album. Mm -hmm. It's our debut album. Okay, playing playing with shadows is the EP, right? Uh, yeah, playing with shadows is the EP. And paradox intention the album came out last year. Yeah, uh, we released it at the. Beginning of the 2019. Yep. Now, where did you record the album at? Where? Yeah, we what? Recorded it here, here in Saint Petersburg, and uh, mix. Uh, we did a mix in uh, Prague, Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. So, who 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 is the producer? We are me and Andrew. <laughs> okay. And we did everything. I mean, like everything. Now, how long was the recording process? Uh, for the first album, it took a uh, long time. It was a uh, hard experience because we searched the sound. We tried to mix uh, hard music with um you know gothic rock or gothic metal i mean like you used to hear so it, it yeah it was a hard process and maybe a year or even <coughs> even more it's you know the way easy with the second album now we actually uh, I don't want to say that we finished uh, writing process of the second album, but it's the way easier and the way faster. Now, you, you write all the lyrics for the band? Yeah, very important for me. Now, where do you get your ideas from for lyrics? Well, from my life experience, you know, I kind of love uh, philosophy and uh, I'm happy to to write the lyrics because I, I really love it and uh, always writing something um, except the lyrics I, I mean besides the lyrics uh, I'm writing stories poems and uh, love it very much and uh, all my ideas are coming from from my vision for life and uh, for, for I, just, I don't know, just for everything I see and feel, I put it in my lyrics. Yeah, very important. Now, is there is there any meaning to a paradox intention? Yes, it ha it has. Um, it my it it's my experience with my with my nervous system with my body and uh, life and how it's all connected and I know many people uh, have the same um, problems or issues I don't know <laughs> and uh, I choose it because it really this term this uh, exercise paradox intention uh, I don't know it's rescue me and uh, if you um, will check what it, what what the thing what what does that mean? Um, you can understand the lyrics of the album. And yeah. Now, who who writes all the music for the band? All music, uh, Andrew, our guitarist and songwriter, he's writing all the music. Now, a a after the, you know, after the 
Lock, lockdown is finished now that will you guys have any shows planned for later in the year actually now um we rescheduled our tour our spring tour um we have to be on tour now but it's rescheduled due to this you know what and uh, we hope to go on tour in europe on october and uh, we are working now for the tour in states. I hope for 2021 or maybe 2022. So yeah, that's it. And for spring, of course, in Europe. Okay. Now, at, at what age did you start singing? I was 13 years old, and I've heard Nirvana, and I immediately understand that this is all I want to do. Now, did you did you take any singing lessons, or were you just self taught singing? Mm, didn't understand question. Uh, did did you take any vocal lessons, or were you self taught? Uh, um, yeah, I took any lessons, some some lessons, but you know, in, not uh, not in the beginning. I sound um like <clears throat> by myself for the very long time because um i can't find a good vocal coach especially for extreme and actually i <laughs> didn't found it yet but now i just don't need it maybe and uh but yeah i always want to find out to find the vocal teacher for the clean voice to make it I don't know to improve my skill to make it more professional more and more more and I don't know yeah now I um, uh, exercising with vocal coach now do you play any instruments mm, I play guitar I play piano I graduated musical school when I was uh, uh, learning uh, piano, music theory, and all this stuff. Now, did, oh, that's all. Uh, now, did, did you did you sing in any other bands before End of Melancholy? Yeah, I got a band uh, which I created. Um, in, in the very beginning of my musical career and um, some my, my drummer actually is from the previous band but it you know it's like a big long project and uh, kinda I just um, changed the name for the end of melancholy okay now do you do you do you have uh what what's your what's your fav what's your favorite memory of being in the band and of melancholies? Uh, what is my favorite what memory? Memory. <laughs> oh, many many things. Okay, uh, I can choose touring for sure. Because it's cool to travel and see people, meet new people, and uh, to perform, <laughs> of course. But, you know, the writing process is cool, too, when you are <clears throat> writing something or recording something on the studio. It's, uh, you know, a bit like shamanism <laughs> or magic. So, of course, it's great memories now what, what what do you enjoy most about being a musician mm, I would say singing I do it really that's why I choose it I very love to sing now what what do you hate the most about being a musician Long, hard road, you know. 
to to success and uh, you know there is no uh, company which uh, where you can send your uh, VC right <laughs> and they can uh, just answer and said okay you know I can uh, give you a job so you can you you should do everything by yourself and uh, I kind of hate it <laughs> okay now now think thinking thinking about any any of the shows you have done with this band do you have any any funny or embarrassing stories to tell us mm, actually the whole the whole um, touring uh, things uh, just everything you know okay uh, which what, what is the first on my mind um, one time we forgot on the gas station for our basis uh, and it was a really um, strange thing and I've heard uh, the same thing uh, from other musicians they always forgot somebody on the gas station so we got something similar I think oh you left you left the basis at the gas station <laughs> Yeah, and uh, one time in Germany, uh, we forgot to pay for the gas, and we drive for, I guess, three hundreds of kilometers ahead, and uh, we actually um, was, I don't remember which country was near, but we actually uh, just uh, get the another country when we uh, remember that we didn't pay for the gas but and you know we, we was in Germany and it was a bit challenging <laughs> so we uh, um, decided to return and uh, to be good persons and when we return on the next day on the next day yes we return uh, the workers of gas station was very, very surprised and uh, very happy that we returned and paid for this. <laughs> and yeah, so, yeah. you know, yeah, it was fun and scary. <laughs> yeah. um, so, for, so for, for you, who, who are your, uh, you know, who, who are your biggest... The, you know, vocalist in inspirations. My biggest inspiration, um, I think it's uh, Sandra Nasik from Guan Apes. Um, she's my, you know, like a role model in the voice. And um, I can mention Maria Brink from In This Moment. Um, yeah, I think it's the biggest inspiration for me. Now, did you... Best singers. Now, do you, do you have a, you have a top three favorite bands? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I, I will, I will tell, uh, for now, because, uh, now I, I really, I really into in this moment. Um... Mm, Deftones and uh, okay, I, I I choose Nirvana. Okay, now I'm I'm gonna ask you a uh, a few fun questions. Are you ready for some fun questions? Fun? Yeah, fun questions. Fun questions. Okay, let's. See. Okay, what 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 is your favorite? What is your favorite food to eat? Oh, pizza. Okay, what do you what do you like on your pizza? On my pizza, mm. uh, cheese and tomatoes. That's it. 
yeah. Okay, so so it's you like. Margarita. Okay, so what what is your favorite drink? Um, my favorite drink is uh, non alcoholic. It's uh, tea, and if we're talking about alcohol, it's beer. What kind of beer is your favorite beer? Oh, didn't hear you. I said, which which beer is your favorite? Um, my favorite beer is um, light beer, and especially in Praha. Okay, now are, are you a, are you a cat person or a dog person? <laughs> None of it. No. Okay. Not a cat or a dog person, <laughs> okay. because you know I'm touring person. <laughs> All right, fa- favorite color? Black, number one. Oh, of course, being gothic, right? Now, what was the, what was the, I I said, I said, of course, of course, black being that you're gothic. Yeah. (laughs) Black, violet, red. Now, what, what, black is number one. Now, what was the first concert you ever went to? Mm, First concert. Oh, God. In St. Petersburg, when I moved to St. Petersburg, uh, first uh, show was Deftones, definitely. Okay, how 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 important how important is social media to your band? Very important uh, for the Russian band, especially, and uh, for nowadays, I think. It's uh, very important for every band, and uh, we should uh, we should learn how to <laughs> make an ads, you know, because it's uh, very good for promotion and to meet new fans. Definitely, it's great. Now, d- d- now, do you do you hope to come to the United States one day? Sure. Many people want it. And me too. Hope to make it. Okay, now, Ali, Ali where, where, where do you see this? Where do you see the band, End of Melancholy, in by, where, five years from now, where do you see this band? I hope um, touring constantly, you know. And uh, I hope this pandemic will end soon, and we uh, will we we can uh, return to the road. And for five years, I don't know. Hope to release new albums, new videos for fans, of course. What else can music band do? Now, how, how how many how many social media sites can we find the band at End of Melancholy? Oh, I think uh, we are in like in, in every social media. Of, of course, it's Instagram, Facebook. For the Russian, uh, it's VK, and uh, yeah, I think it's it's the main. We, we we have Twitter for sure. I like to write that there. And YouTube, of course. Now, do you have a do you have a store online where people can buy merchandise? Yeah, we got uh, our Bandcamp, bandmelancholy dot bandcamp dot com, and uh, we got all all the merch there. Awesome. Well, Ali, I want to thank you for taking time to do the interview today. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Uh, no problem. We can do another one in the future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're welcome. You, ha- I hope you have a great day. Yeah, and, the same. And stay safe. Thank you. you yeah, stay uh, safe. You, one, sure. one, one more. Stay one, safe and metal. One more, one more thing, Ali. Do you, do you have anything to say to the fans yeah. out there? Well, I don't know. Uh, the same thing. Stay safe and stay metal and hope to see you guys very soon on our shows in states and around the world. So, yeah. And stay be, on the Melancholy, baby. <laughs> and and, and be, on, be on the lookout for the next album. Yeah. We'll release it at the end of this year. Awesome. Well, thanks again, Ali. You have a great night. Yeah, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye. It's over. I see you for the last time. Oh,